It's a backend application written in Python Fast API, which is a framework for building backend applications. Uh, it's a simple app for managing inventory. I have this products API, I have the uh, categories, and I have the sales API, which is the API for managing the inventory, uh, the transactions, uh, for running transactions on the inventory. Uh, this is how it looks uh, in the source code. I have uh, the database interface, which is connected with Redis. I have the data model for each one of the APIs, and I have a main Python file, including all the APIs. Again, this was generated by the uh, Python Fast API engineer. Uh, AI, it's an AI agent on the fine platform, which I want to show you right now. So this is the app that I currently have, but let's say that I want to add a new feature for this app. Let's say that I want to add a reports API for this, uh, for this application. So let's do that with the fine, uh, the fast API AI agent. So here I already have the specification for this feature. Uh, I asked, I, I'm gonna ask the agent to create APIs for reports based on uh, inventory data. So uh, the API endpoint is a simple get endpoint with start and end date as parameters, and it should returns a few numbers uh, based on the inventory data. So instead of going and implemented it by hand, what I can do is to open the agent panel, and then I can tag the relevant agent for this assignment. So I'm gonna hand off the assignment to the agent who actually specializes in fast API applications. So I'm gonna Python fast API engineer. I'm gonna hit it off. And you see that the agent is start running. It usually starts by generating the task list. Okay, so we have here two tasks that uh, the AI agent wants to uh, complete. Let's review them. One of them is to update the source main uh, Python file and it wants to create a new API endpoint which is great and another uh, task is to create a test for this uh, new API. Looks good to me. Let's uh, do confirm. And now the agent will start actually implementing the code. Okay, very cool. The agent is done running and it created a new file, uh, which is the test file and updated the main file. All there is left is to head over to the source code and review the results. So you can see that the main file was updated and there is a new test file. I'll switch to the git diff view to better view the results. So you can see that the fast API uh, agent uh, actually updated the main Python code and created a new endpoint exactly as we requested it to do, which is very cool. We can also have a look on the fast API uh, test. You can see it uses the test client based on uh, the fast API framework, which is the way to test uh, endpoints in fast API. Really cool, that's it, we're done. We, we added a new feature just by describing it uh, in the notebook. If you want to use the Fast API engineer yourself, feel free to head over to our GitHub repository and check out the Fast API engineer. You can see the Python Fast API. Here you have the instructions how you can use it and deploy it to your fine workspace. You can review the Python Fast API agent configuration file and you can see that other than the specific instructions that we provided to this agent that specializes in fast API uh, backend applications, you can see that we also enrich the agent with 
third party uh, documentation. So not only this agent knows your code base as a context, it also has the repository of fast API as a context, meaning that it will be more accurate when uh, uh, provided when you assign specific tasks in fast API for this agent. So I hope you enjoyed and uh, happy agenting.